in the last tutorial we have uh, generated a war file from the junk of uh, or the bulk of uh, files and now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a jar file that is java archive file and with the help of uh, jar file we are going to run the web application so what i am going to do is uh, instead of war i am just changing uh, the the word as jar what it will do is uh, you can see uh, when i select save uh, it will resolve all the dependency and it will perform the operation at the background itself and <coughs> to create a jar file what uh, i will do is uh, what we will do is uh, we will type mvn then followed by the same command which we have used in the previous uh, tutorial mvn clean then package press enter so it will create a war file for us the same thing uh, i done for uh, the war file so it will add every jar file in, into the jar file I mean into the single jar file so it will take some step and at last uh, it has generated yeah now you can see the demo iPhone 0.0.1 snapshot dot jar so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in the desktop and I'm going to rename it say app.jar so to run the war file uh, we need application server so that we will put that war file into the application server so it will run so to run the jar file what we have to do is uh, we have to just need a java in our environment so i'm going to run this jar file with the help of java so i'm going to the command cmd then followed by so this is located in the desktop folder so i'll type cd followed by desktop so i type dir so i can see the file app.jar is there so to run this the command is java space hyphen jar followed by the app.jar so when i press enter what it will do is uh, it will start the spring framework uh, and uh, it will this will have the tomcat integrated into it and this will start the tomcat with the port number 8080 and uh, i'm going to run this slow close to 8080 so taking some time so we can see here uh, the white label error page because we have not given the mapping function or the mapping path so let me type uh, the path hello world yeah we'll be getting the same result and you can see the servlet is initialized and every every type of command will be there so with the help of the single jar file we can able to create a web application like this so normally um, the programmer they will prefer the war file because they will have uh, the application server and they will deploy everything into it but uh, this is the other way like um, we will generate a jar file and uh, using the command uh, java space hyphen jar space app dot jar we can create and run a spring boot application and uh, because the main thing is it will have the integrated tomcat into it with the help of this tomcat uh, this will run the application and when you generate a war file uh, uh, we can put that war file in uh, some application server like uh, apache tomcat etc and uh, these are the two ways in which we can generate uh, um, the archive file from the bunch of uh, the programs and uh, that's it thank you for watching and please subscribe to the video